competition. Now over to Mark and no pork pie on the menu. You've got some sweet treats today. I have. I'm joined by two sweet <laughs> treats as well. We've got Jay and Sarah here. Chatter guys. <laughs> and we've got two fantastic recipes. That's two because there's three of us in the kitchen today and it's out of their new book which is on sale now. So what are we cooking guys? Yes, so you're right, we're cooking two recipes. I'm cooking the clean caramel slice. Yes, and I'm going to be making our clean bonoffi pie, which is beautiful, and you can still indulge in it, but it's still good for you. Yeah, it's good. It, go. It's quite healthy as well, actually. I've been looking at the ingredients, and we've got lots of coconut yes. and lots of dates and nuts in there, so sounds interesting. A little Pretty twist on the so. uh, classic bonoffi pie. Right, so a little bit later in the show, we'll get cracking on these um, desserts and show you how to do it and all the secrets and uh, get some gossip as well. Over to you, Mel. Welcome back to the Cafe Kitchen. Now, Rhys Darby will be telling us about his latest escapades very soon. Right now, though, we are joined by keen bloggers, great cooks, and also friends of mine, which is great, in the kitchen. Jay and Sarah, great to have you on the cafe. Shout out, my friend. Good to see you. Nice work. OK, and today we're cooking from your brand new book, Fresh and Affordable Family Food. That's right. OK, and it's a nice sweet treat, which is affordable and good for us. Is yeah. that what you're trying it to is. tell us? It is. OK, cool. So we're doing, like, a, a healthy spin on a banoffee pie. Yum. And then Sarah's over here, she's got a, a clean caramel slice, so we're keeping it decadent, but still good for you. Okay, well there's a lot of people in the kitchen, so Mark, you, <laughs> you can control what's happening, okay? Well, Where I are we going yeah. first? Yeah. Well, I, I love these segments when people come in the kitchen, because I don't need to do any work. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to help you both. Right, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to make the banoffee pie base in the blender now, mm. so we've already blended some nuts, um, and then Jay's going to put the rest of the ingredients in, make the base, and then we're going to show you how to push it into the um, selected mould. And then we're going to start the caramel slice. So three stages, and we're going to do the middle stage first because we need the blender as well. Yes, mate. Yes. So you need to get on with that. And then we're going to make the uh, the caramel sauce for the center, for the middle for the middle layer, aren't we? Yep, we are. So I'll just turn this oven on. <laughs> right, and then we, so we've got some dates here. So there's lots of dates throughout these whole recipes. Sure is, mate. Um, so get dried <laughs> dates, and you want to just soak them in boiling water for about what ten minutes or so, just yeah, to sort of soften up. Yep. So boiling water. Just be careful when you pour it on. Let them soak. And then we're going to drain the excess liquid off because they'll rehydrate a bit and they'll take some of that yes. liquid on, won't they? Yeah, yeah, mm. we'll do. And they go nice and soft and they're really, really sweet so you don't have to use any refined sugars or anything. So, yeah. good there alternative. You go. And what put were the, the nuts down. that you had in here? So, we put some almonds in there. Almonds, we've yeah. blended them. Yeah. We've got the dates, we've got some coconut. Yum. Coconut. Making a nice whole food base there. Nice work. Okay, and what are you up to now, Mark? Right, so I am um, chopping some dates. So these have been soaked, yeah, soaked and drained, and I'm just going to chop them up and just make them into a paste. Ideally, you want to do this in the blender, don't we? Yeah. But there's a lot of things. That. There's a lot of but things hey, to blend, and we're, we're waiting for someone. <laughs> yeah. So jam that on there for a little while. Okay. I'm going to come around here now. I'm going to come around here. Right, all so over the place. What have we got in here? So I've got the easy job. I'm just stirring the butter, the vin vanilla essence and the maple syrup. Nice. Until he's ready with the dates. <laughs> yeah. Always waiting. How did you come up with all of this? So, you know, making it affordable and delicious is quite hard. Trial and error? It is. It is trial and error. Wow. We went through a whole phase of buying every expensive organic thing we could get. Right. And that wasn't good for our bank accounts. No. <laughs> <laughs> But it tasted good. And that's the premise, I guess, behind this book. Because families like nice food, they want it to be affordable. Yeah. To sometimes get that quality, you've got to spend a little bit of extra, but you've managed to find the secrets, haven't you? Yeah, you do. Nice. Good work. Because cool. we're adding the dates to the vanilla essence in the butter. Yes. <laughs> it smells incredible already. I might go with the coconut cream now. So and your coconut could... cream going in. Yes. And what I like in these recipes are, you know, they're, they're all very healthy and substantial, yes. but you've still got little bits of butter in there as well. <laughs> Which Mike loves. Well, you can substitute that. that with coconut oil, can't yeah, you? Yeah, coconut yeah. oil is perfect. It's a good source of um, natural fats. Now, you look concerned, Sarah. <laughs> you're right. Well, you know, when you're cooking in someone else's kitchen, you don't know if that's too hot. Right, OK. There's a little tap <laughs> Is it everywhere. burning? No, it looks fine. Nice. nice Just got to keep stirring. Oh, this is the know. best job. <laughs> I keep trying to wait till you guys finish talking. Your kids must have absolutely love you putting this book together because I guess they are the benefactors of everything you're making. Yeah, they love trialing and erring, erring, <laughs> trial and erring yeah, right. with us. Yeah. Did you get them in the kitchen to help out too? Yeah. Nice, nice. 
Okay, so this book is out now. You've also got a blog, haven't you? We do. If people wanted to read your blog, where do they go? So they can go to either Facebook, Jay and Sarah NZ, or you can go on to www.jayandsarah.nz and check us out. Okay, cool. We'll put the details on screen for you, so that is good. Make sure you go and check that out. How you going over there, Jay? You're going, mate. Going, mate. You're going. <laughs> Try not to be too loud, so you guys can have a bit of chat time. Nice, but are you under control. Under control. Under control. Because I'll tell you what, Reese is going to be in here soon and things will just get chaotic. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll take a break, we'll come back in just a minute uh, because we're going to find out how to finish off this incredible banoffee pie and also a caramel slice. This is fantastic. So we'll come back just after we check in with another great offer from Holly. We are with Jay and Sarah. We are here in the cafe kitchen. We've got two recipes going on at the same time, so good luck keeping up because I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, where are we at, Mark? <laughs> right, so we've made the base for the, uh, for the banoffee pie. So if you can see it, once you put everything in, it's sort of yes. it's quite crumbly. Mm. But a good way to test it is just get a get a nice bit, pinch it, and see if it sort of sticks together Still like holds, that. Yeah. And that's what you want, right? Nice. Then you get your selected mould, so we've got a, t a cake tin here, and you want to push it down, compact it, you know, get it nice and level, pop it in the fridge or the freezer till it sets, and then you can just lift it off. Voila! Right there. Wow. there you go, that. look at you. Nice work. <laughs> and look at that. Anyway, Perfect. pop that onto your plate, so it's a little bit different because we're going to build everything on top. Yes. OK, cool. So, Sarah, I was just wondering, who's the boss when you're in the kitchen? Is it you or is it Jay? Um... <laughs> well, I think it's Jay over here. It kind of depends. So I think it is Jay, <laughs> it depends. actually, yeah. It depends he on what we're to making. He likes the boss, yeah, but really, I'm the boss. Yeah, yeah. you're the boss of everything else. <laughs> yeah. <I'll sit> here. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know how they work together, because most couples in the kitchen fight, don't mm. they? So this is yes. good. Brilliant. <laughs> and the result is some beautiful treats. OK, so what are we up to now? Right, and then now, so we've done the middle part of the caramel slice. Yeah. Yep. We're going to do the base now. Mm. So, so Jay did such a good job in the blender, he can do the next bit and talk amazing. you through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so over here we've got um, our cocoa or cacao, our coconut, desiccated coconut, and I've also put in some more dates, because we're all about the dates and natural sweetener. So we just blend that all together to get a nice um, consistency, similar to what we've used for the banoffee pie. Mm. And then once that's all mixed together, it combines and you press it into your tray like that. So. I'll get this one done and Cool. So exactly the same. On. Pop it into the tray, let it set, and then you're ready to put your second stage on there. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to pour the um, go. spoon over the second stage. Cool. The caramel. Well done. Caramel, Are we yeah. doing an all right job over here, Jay? Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. she's doing well. <laughs> Good. That's the right answer. Mother of your children. <laughs> How old are your kids, by the way? So we've got an eight-year-old daughter yeah. and two sons, five and two. Nice. So our house is crazy. And then we've got that... 27-year-old over there. That's <laughs> crazy. I used to work with Jay on another oh. telly show. Yeah, I know, I know. He can be a little crazy. Good yeah. fun, yeah. Good fun. Good fun. <laughs> you just stick to your cooking over there, Jay. <laughs> OK. Uh, so, Mark, you're doing, obviously, the very important part of the Banoffee pie. Well, yeah, it's still definitely the, the most important part. Well, apart from the caramel and the biscuits. <laughs> the banana. <laughs> so, just peel the bananas, slice them, and then we're going to decorate it with the bananas. And we're also going to make a caramel sauce, aren't we? We sure are, In between friend. layers, and we're going to build up with caramel bananas, caramel bananas, and then we're going to put some cream on top, or you can use the coconut cream as yes. well if you want. But there's a good tip for you if you're using coconut cream. It is. So, <laughs> you want to use, um, put your coconut cream into the fridge the night before so that the, the thick part of the coconut cream rises, so you want to use that nice yummy coconut fat, whip that all up and you get a dairy-free cream. Yeah, exactly. Easy. And that's what I didn't read and didn't do, so that's why <laughs> we're going to do cream. <laughs> but it is a top tip, so yes. it's good, it's really good. Right, right, so next layer goes on the caramel slice. That wants to go in the fridge for about another 10, 15 yep. minutes to set, and then we're going to finish it off with this decadent, rich chocolate layer, which we've got in the uh, mm. Bain Marie there. What is this? Because it smells incredible. So it's not chocolate, is it? It's Cocoa powder. Special, yeah. It's special, very yeah. special. It's special. coconut oil, cacao, yeah. and vanilla, uh, maple syrup. Yeah. Um, you can also use cacao butter if, oh, yeah, you know, that's getting a bit more luxurious. Right. To thicken it up a bit, but it still does the job. Oh, yeah, no, this is going to be incredible. And that's going to go on top of our caramel <laughs> slice, yeah. doesn't it? It is. Now, I guess with the recipe book, does it give you those different options if it you want to go pricey or not yes. so pricey? We've, yeah. We've put in a lot of tips in there because we've learnt the hard way. Right. <laughs> and, um, you know, the bank account shows it. So 
so it's good to have those little quick tips in there. No, no, that's what we like. Saving money left, right and centre yeah. and getting delicious treats out of it. Okay, cool. So where are we at to now? More dates. More dates. <laughs> right. It's but the it's sweetener. Great. It's yeah. great though, isn't it? It's just, and Yeah, because there's no sugar in there, yeah. so you've got the natural yeah. sweetness. That's uh, it's fantastic. And they're cheap, real cheap, you know. So they're only about $2, $2 to $4 right. a pack. Um, and you know, much more affordable than buying, you know, pure maple syrup if you can't afford yeah, that. That's but um, right. you still get a nice, natural, rich sweetener in there. Nice. Okay. Great. That's great. Okay. Well, so anything we else we need to do before we finish up? Because I'm gonna let you guys finish this out back a little later on. Uh, but anything else we need to let people know about? Because of course we put the recipe at thecafe.co.nz, uh, and of course this book is out now. You'll find everything in here. Brilliant book, by the way. Any last thing we need to know? Yeah, just the caramel, caramel. sauce. Okay, so the caramel cool. sauce, we've got the maple syrup, we've got coconut oil, we've got coconut cream, and then these dates right here are going to go into there and basically be the same caramel as we've used in the caramel slice. Yeah, okay, guys, can't wait to taste this. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you very much, Jay and Sarah. We'll see the finished product very soon. And just ahead, Rhys Darby is going to be catching us up on all his news and more. Right now, though, it's over to Holly. Okay, now it's time to dish up the sweet treats. Mark, Jay and Sarah, you've been busy in the kitchen. This is looking fantastic. We have been busy. Look at that. We're just finishing it off now. That looks awesome, Jay. Yeah, Looks good, yum. mate. Nice. And then Sarah's just chopping the uh, caramel slice. Fantastic. I hope yeah. you guys are hungry. Yeah, very. We've got a few to feed today, <laughs> actually. Such a sweet tea. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Okay, get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. All right. Bring it over, guys.